Hello, in this video, we're going to show you how to make a real control tool. To start, you need to download the blueprint from our website in realityacom slash DIY. You need a piece of cardboard, glue gun, scissors, tape, stapler, and any kind of decoration you want to put on your controller. So to start, we align the cardboard direction with your cardboard direction. This part is very important. And then apply the glue. You want to apply it evenly, so what I usually do is apply one direction and then turn 90 degree, apply another time. Step two, you want to cut the orange line. Okay, <clears throat> so you'll get two panels and one handle. We fold the mountain fold and the valley fold. You can use the corner of your table to make sure you fold straight. So this, this is going to become your handle. And we want to combine the the two panels. Make sure you see the B and C in the, in the bottom touching each other. So that's the right order, the one with QR code in the right and the one without in the, in the left. And turn to the back. We're going to put on three scotch tapes. this so the panel can move like this freely next we're going to realign the staple mark and this blue arrow this is where the handle is going to go Then put one staple here. And another here. And turn to the back. Make sure the panel can turn 45 degree, touching the trigger. And the trigger, when it's in rest position, 90 degree here. And 90 degree here. So when you press, the little triangle here, which is the trigger, you can move the left side of the panel. As an option, if this part get too loose and sliding away from the panel, optionally, you can put another tape here, this way. To make sure you won't slice off like this and optionally you can put some decorations or paddings to your controller you can see a big circle here this usually where your thumb is going to go so I put a circle padding and the little triangle here that's usually where your index finger goes so put a small round padding. The way this controller works is by tracking the angle of these two panels. So when they when the second panel is with an angle from 30 degree to 45 degree, it's in off status. When you press the trigger, you'll become 
the same angle as the other panel and this is the on mode so you want to test your controller to see if your trigger action can tra translate into um, angles on the panels correctly so there you go you have your um, real control and you're ready to have some do some actions in virtual reality